first repair that we did. This is just the beginning. We carved this out, it's still pretty rough, but we had to stabilize it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do step two. First thing I want to demonstrate is stabilization. Okay? And what we're going to do, and you're going to stabilize these joints right here. These are open, oh, I would say a good quarter of an inch. So what we want to do is <clears throat> we want to fill those with epoxy. It's going to give it an outstanding strength. First of all, you want to start with the primer tray, which is a bonding agent. It's not a paint primer. It's not a preparation. It's a liquid, a very low viscosity version of the FlexTech. It's going to soak through, penetrate the wood fibers deeply so that you get, once again, more than a surface bond. And that's what we want. We want this sash to last another hundred years. Okay, so two capfuls of part A, which is the white bottle, to one capful of part B, which is the pink. Okay, I'm using a narrower brush. Dab it in. Okay. That's it. And we're going to come down here. Now, normally, if this were a hairline crack, we'd use a Dremel tool or a die grinder and we'd open this joint right up. But um, because this is so wide, it's really not necessary. So I'm just going to let that soak through. That's a pretty easy fix. And then one more. This is a section of the frame. Bonding agent right here, and we're going to use the epoxy almost like a glue. Glue this back in. Okay. I'm also going to do minor surface imperfections. Someone took a hammer and uh, decided that they'd get the window sash out with a hammer, so we're going to use some bonding agent on these. So, we're going to fill these dimples in. Epoxy heat cures on itself. It's a chemical reaction, part A and part B. The more epoxy you mix up, the quicker it's going to cure. A large repair will cure and dry faster than a small repair. What a good sol solid bond. I'm going to brush on some bonding agent. trying to recreate this side that's missing from this particular window pane. So I've packed it in right here so that we have some to take away. I think that's how we're going to have to handle this. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna take my white apron line and I'm just gonna fill it, follow it to the best of my ability around. And I have to make a couple passes. If you don't get it absolutely perfect, you can always come in with sandpaper, sand it, or grind it out with a Dremel tool. I think we're getting pretty close. done the initial side right here. I'm going to try to follow it down again. Get it as close as I possibly can to the profile that we're missing. I'm going to come right to this side. I'm not going to do too much on this side. I think I'm going to finish the repair after the other side dries. I think we minimize our tooling and sanding time. The primer tray is dry, and once again, we're going to fill in. We call this sort of the uh, the build up and the takeaway. 